Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Naruto World Mod Pack with me. And uh, da, 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 we beat a Tail Beast last time. That was in it wasn't enjoyable. There wasn't much fun about it. Yeah, Tail Beasts are just a pain, really, aren't they? Oh well. Yeah, well, we finally beat one. We've gotten round to it. We can now put the thing inside. It's become a Jujutsu key and start getting through the forms and stuff. It actually turns out it's easier to do this than it is to find apparently Sage Mode and freaking. Curse mark and stuff. How did that happen? I don't know. For some reason, I just don't want to spawn. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, it's ever there's a lot of people looking for them at this point. No one's finding any. Then again, to be fair, also, this is a server where there's a lot of people floating around, like, on a fairly regular basis. There's normally quite a handful of people on it, at least. And, then, like, you know, at peak times, we're getting close to, like, 20-odd people being on on a consistent basis, obviously, with people leaving and joining stuff. It's interesting. I mean, I say close to 20, it's like the high teams. But yeah, yeah, but it's the most busy one of my servers has been for quite some time, which is lovely, but it also makes finding things harder. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword, so it is. there's more people, more people doing stuff, more people building structures and all that kind of jazz. Also means it's harder to find the things you want, aka the mob spawning rate spreads a bit thinner. So mobs don't spawn around you as much, a bit, a bit, a bit. So even with the platform and stuff, it's still, yeah. It's the same as, like, finding Wither Skeletons. It's much harder to find them now because there's so many people. But it is what it is. It just means it takes a bit longer or it means you're going to have to get a load of people together to do the thing you want to do to increase your chances, which, I mean, is an option. Is an option come later. But unfortunately, as far as, like, this, like, curse mark and stuff goes, yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where you have to agree beforehand who's going to get it. Otherwise, it's going to be a battle to the death as soon as, like, Erochimaru arrives. <laughs> Because, like, literally, no one's going to want to give up their chance to get it. take hours before another one appears easily. Oh, it's, it's a pain. It's a pain, so it is. But either way, it is what it is, right? Anyway, he's clearly not here anyway. But, but, uh, so back to the signs. Let's go do the signs. Let's... I'll clear that out in a second. Yeah, I'm keeping the training going. Obviously, I'm just going to keep leveling up as time goes. Level 548 now. It's been a bit of time last night. It's been a wee bit of time this morning. Killed some things. Not leveled up too much, though. I think I was, like, I was at level 530-something last time, wasn't I? So, not exactly a big jump like that the other episode. But, hey, yo, we're, we're improving bit by bit, you know? Right, anyway. Two people were listed from last video. Those two people are the Ultimate FTW and... Juruto, YouTuber waitlisted, mod pack up not ship it down below. Also, Spider Ninja 1212, you're already waitlisted. I saw him has to go waitlisted again. You're already be the waitlist, you waitlisted episodes ago. You're able to go on. Alright. Yeah, let's quickly clear this out then. So I'm a lightning is obviously helping a big time, getting more and more power in the whole vector thing, which is awesome. Don't know how useful it'll be against people that also Oh, I wanna do this. Oh. Oh, Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love these moves so much. Lightning's so handy for the same spotters. So freaking handy. Aww. I mean, well, all other things might be more devastating. I'm pretty sure Meltdowner goes through ar armor defense. I love my chakra on. Uh, Meltdowner goes through armor defense, which is awesome. And, like, you know, Vector is obviously like, one of the most powerful things around and stuff. But still, like, the Electro Master makes training so much easier in slime rooms. Just because I can hit them all at once. I mean, obviously, I could go with the Scythe or something. I could do something else, but... Oh, it's just... It's handy. I love it. Also, what level did I get up to there? Oh, we're so close to 550. Lovely, right? Anyway, we saw who is whitelisted. We have the thing here to get implanted. On top of that, we also have now... I... I how many... I don't know what I had before or what I've got. I've got 25 DNA now, so that's the thing. Also, got our word mystery in my little bit of training. Uh, 73 intelligence, got to 75. Go on. 76. Oh, I'll do one battle then. All right, game. All right, um, so I've got like a bunch of DNA to D uh, I've got a bunch of DNA to DNA. I've got a bunch of DNA to um, identify as well. So let's get to Let's get Yami on and make sure everything's set up. And then, yeah, we'll. Oh, it's time. It's time to let the timer tick. I honestly should have done this like straight away because then the time I spent training there and the time I spent this morning stuff, I could have spent getting the timer up for the tail beast thing. But oh well, never mind. We'll start now, shall we? Okay, so we're here. Yami's on. Da da da. Um, unfortunately, yeah, when Yami's on, it also means I hear double of like all the different sounds. So, like doors and stuff sound a bit off. And on top of that, if um. Any mobs and stuff show up, for instance, like hollows. We're gonna hear a bunch of weird sound from that. But either way, it is what it is. It should be. It should be fine. It should be fine. We just, just need to kill things if they get in the way. But all right, let's give Yami the. St oh God, wait, hold on. We need to relocate to a different build. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How the bus? The second he hits me to do anything, it's instantly gonna trigger Evelyn, and Evelyn's gonna try and like murder things. Half's in here. Okay, let me go in a different building. Go in a different building. It's 
fine. Go in this building then. Our house. It's not been done anything with yet. So that's, that's a thing. Anyway, right. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Yami's here. We're going to give Yami the things. Yami's going to implant those into us. As is the plan. How does this work again? I don't know. It works like that. Huzzah! We're now Shinjuniki. You've become the two-tailed Shinjuniki. That's... Okay, this is meant to be more exciting, but unfortunately I've gotten some unfortunate news about the two-tailed Shinjuniki. Every, not everyone. I've seen, like, a couple of things saying, Oh, you know the uh, blue fire thing's, like, broken for it in this version. Is it? Like, I'm certain I saw people use it before. So, I don't know where it's broken. Why is this... Why is this moved? Why are people moving it? I don't understand. Anyway. Blah. Bubble doll. Alright, we're now the two toasts to Shinnike. Can I start waiting for Thingy's timer to start going up? Cool. That'll... That'll take time. Or... Well, I mean, also I could technically cheat it, but like, I'm not going to cheat it. There's no point in cheating it. There's no point in cheating it unless it gets to, like, super desperate times where, like, it's, it's like, balls to the walls. Everything's gone mental. But no. No, we, we try and stick to our guns. We try not to cheat and all that jazz. Do, 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 unless we, you know, unless it's to fix a problem. But all right. Da, da, da. The timer started for that kill. Blue fire apparently doesn't work. I've I seen it work before. My only thought could be if someone received it is did you not have fire release? Because surely to use blue fire, you might need to have regular fire release. I don't know if that is a thing, though. Or what? I, I don't know how any of it works. So, it is what it is. They said they also didn't have full inventories. So I can't say that. Unless it gave them more than one thing and they didn't have enough space for multiple things. I don't know. I don't know how it worked. All I could do is try and max it out and see what happens. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, well, we'll figure something out then, won't we? Da -da -ba. All right. Anyway, we're not quite done there, though. We've still got a load of DNA to do. Lord, how much space you got in your inventory? It's practically empty, apart from one slice of snake. Interesting. Right, Yami, take all that. There we are. Oh, yeah, he's got tons of space. Right, Yami's going to ID some DNA for us. Then he's going to try and implant it into us if he needs to. So let's see what we get. So, boop. We've got wind release. We've got useless. We've got lightning. We've got more wind. Useless. Useless. More wind. <laughs> more wind. And fire. Okay, that was a f that was really horrible for our spatch. Wow. Thanks, game. That was that sucked really bad. Um, what the hell? Winds, winds. I'll take the lightning. Take the fire. I don't really need them, but like I'll keep a hold of them just in case. Right. Next batch. That was what nine. So we're still got our like sixteen left. I think. Right. Next batch of nine. Useless. 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 Winds. Water. Useless. Winds. Useless. Wind. Okay, that was... Five of them became useless. Three of them became wind. One of them became water. What? What is happening? I used all my luck last time, didn't I? Last time I got two kicking in, guys. That's what this is. <laughs> I used all my luck. <laughs> right, okay. Earth. Wind. Water. Wind. Wind. Useless. Useless. Oh, wow. Wow, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Alright, well, I think I technically got one of each of the main natures. That was a thing, I guess. Hold on. Alright, we got fire, water, wind. I saw earth in there, and I got water. Oh, water can get implanted, though. Water we do actually still need. So, we'll take... Oh, yeah, keep the water. Because I know I've got one in my chest, but like I can always... I can just implant this one. Not that does. And it means I've got a backup one in case it fills. Right. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. It never fills, though. Right. Um. Anyway, though, we can combine all this crappy jit stuff into um, more. We can try and get another couple of shots. Maybe we'll get something better. Maybe we will. We're going to get five more shots, apparently. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Right. Yeah, mate. Take all of these and that. I'm going to need milk in a second, aren't I? Yes. All right. I take the five. Uh, useless. Earth. Fire. Useless. Wind. I'm going to combine the two. Or two of them. To make one last one. But. Water. Combine the water with the other ra random one we got. One last attempt. This is the last possible bottle. Fire. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. I've got a useless fire nature one then. Cool. Lovely. Oh my god. How's... Yeah, yeah. We used our luck last time. It's literally what's happened. That was a lot of useless. Like a 70% chance. Three in ten. 
Uh, 3 out of 10 should fail. So most there we should have gotten like 7 or 8 fails. I think we got more than that. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, okay. Well, we can get water then. Oh wait, hold on. Can we get milk? Do I have milk? Yami, stay there. Hold on. At least we got the Chichiniki thing. So I mean, that's that's something. But I'm still kind of sad that out of the 25 DNA we didn't get anything at all. Oh. Oh well. It is what it is. Alright, yeah, there's the other water. Got DNA in here as well, actually. What have I got in here? I've got lightning, lightning. Wait, why do I get two lightnings? Hold on. Lightning, winds, fire, earth. Hold on, hold on. I want to say a potentially one of each element, but that's it. I don't want any extras. I don't need any extras. I mean, okay, I can I can trade them and stuff. I don't need them. So yeah, winds, fire, earth. And then we've got two waters here. In case one fails by some miracle. Then, you know, we get that. Okay, that means, yeah, we get four extra bottles here, though. So we can we can swap those in. Try it. We can get two more times. Right, um, I don't get milk, do I? I really don't. No, I do! Oh, dear God! I'm glad I remembered that I did go and milk cows before. Not before the episode. I think from the last time this happened, I milked a lot of cows or something. Right. Yummy. First, take a cellar water, just in case. Second, we can ID these. Do the IDing first, just in case, you know, we, we get something good. That way we can take two lots of dinghy and... We can take two lots of DNA inside us, normally have to use one bucket. But alright, so what we got? We got wind and lightning. Combine the two. One last attempt. Fire. <laughs> well, I hoped, and it didn't work. Alright, here, take your damn water nature. Wait, I've got space in my inventory, right? Boop. I do. I do get space in inventory. Here. Boop. Of course it worked. Lovely jubbly. Right. Take the water back. Yummy services are no longer required. Unless someone specifically needs them for some. Does it take Jinji a while to upload his vids after recording? Technically. Okay. The way my recording works. Technically I could have it up within like an hour after I finish. Probably. But like. I tend to have them set for a specific time. My videos always come out at the same time. So you know. Welcome back, Grandmaster Lord Yami Bows. We do realize that Lord Yami is like... Hold on, I'm looking at the wrong screen now. We do realize that as far as Lord Yami goes, like his health and that's... Oh, yeah, I've seen his health's not that impressive. His health's got... He's got 20... Oh, 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 he's got 500 health. What am I on about? He didn't have much health to begin with. No, he's got tons of health. Yes, he is quite impressive. But right, anyway, Yami's out. Boop. We do not require his services no more. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Much better. Right. We've got a spare fire and a spare water. The spare water can go in the bag where it belongs. The spare fire can just lie in here. Use it for something later. Right. Well, we got water release. That can go in there. We're never going to use that. Oh, oh, yeah. Just before anyone said anything about it, that's the hidden mischief. So that's not a water release. Don't worry about it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we got bugger. Oh. Well, we didn't get bugger all. We got our water release implanted. And, you know, we got... Or the two tails Shunuki. That's still something. Even if it's not a Yugeki Genkai or the Yin Yang release or something. It's it's still something. Could have been better. Sure, but it's still something. <laughs> God damn it. 25 DNA down the drain. <laughs> what I have to show for it? Well, I've got a couple of extra natures that I like, already have implanted. Yay. Let's do a little bit. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Let's see what we can do now, anyway. I have 21 points to spend. What do we want to do? Um, okay, first, let's get our health up. A bit. Like. What I have to put it to to get full. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. 10. So I guess it's up to, I think, 100 health exactly. I think. So that's good. Um, we'll leave that like that for now. I don't know exactly how the... Yeah, the health is like two points per one heart. But like the second point doesn't actually do anything. It's just that one one point adds in the heart. Then the second point does nothing. Then the next heart is another heart. So, right, that's fine. Eight points still to spend. I could get his 40 chakra. I can't increase Genjutsu anymore. It was a waste. I'm still mad that I put points in Shuriken Jutsu. I have no need for it. But I still put points in it. And that saddens me a great deal. Oh. Unless... Hold the boss. Naruto. Um, oh, wait, why have I typed in that? Why I just type in, like, Flying Rajin? There we go. Minato's Flying Rajin. Shuriken Jutsu 50. Or 70, sorry. 
I can't compete with the Flying Rising God Seal. I just to develop it. Does that actually work? Because if so, that would be handy. I don't think it does. I'm fairly certain it doesn't actually work. Plus, I need to find Ten Ten to actually locate it. But if I could get hung to that, it actually does teleport me. Like, I can think of worse things. Like, at least now my Shuriken Jutsu does something. Because as it stands right now, what do I need Shuriken Jutsu for? Sweet bugger all. Ba -ba -da. Like, if I type in Shuriken, what have we got Shuriken wise? We've got Kunai's, which requires 10. The Flying Rat, uh, he's under which requires 70. We've got. Yeah, the Fuma Shurikens. They only require 25. What was it taking? Like, why Why did the Naruto mod decide that the Bleach Ball required 75? Like, a normal ball only costs 60. I, I saw comments saying, I, I, well, I remember when I spoke at this the first time, like, comments saying, oh, it's because it was a stronger ball, it required more Shuriken Jutsu. It sh where did it base off of, though? Like, there is no stronger ball in Minecraft, and this is meant to be based, like, the, the Naruto mod's made with itself and normal Minecraft to me. It's not really made to function with other mods. Also, what the feck is this? I saw this building getting built a little while ago, and I didn't actually go over and see what it was. Land claimed! Church under construction by Spookles. Oh. They've claimed the land next to my land? I mean, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> it's a neighbor then. Oh. Alright, it is what it is. Yeah, I need to actually start working on this land. Now that I've done this Jinchuniki thing, I've got lots of time. At this point, I mean, come the weekend, we'll probably done our stream. Don't know if it's going to be like a thingy stream again or what. It, 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 may, end, it may end up just being a on our buildy stream. Buildy stream slash wasty timey stream. Or maybe this time around. I mean, okay, wait. What episode are we on right now? We're on episode... What? 20. We're episode 20. We became the 2000 Jinchuniki. All right. And this is going out today, Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, that'll be 21. Saturday will be 22. So yeah, we have episode 23 at that point. Not a round number by any means. But yeah, if I can set things up before then, potentially that day I'll do some building and stuff, but maybe we do hold a tournament of some kind. Like, okay, obviously we're not going to win. Like, my health is uh, 78 medical units. I have 100 health. There are people floating around with eight times that. The people that have maxed it out got dragon. Okay, actually, wait, I, say it's, I say it's at that right now, actually. If I put the dragon helmet on, it'll go up a bit. But still, like, there's people way, way, way higher up the food chain, so it's, eh, we're not, we're, we're not anything special by any stretch. We have a bit of strength behind us, but we're not, we've not got the health to keep going, I think. And plus, I don't even know what everyone else's chakras are, but either way, we can, we can organize something come the weekend. So if we do something else other than just build come the live stream, because I do, I do want to live stream come the weekend. I also want to figure out other stuff to do on the channel at this point. I have all those other servers saying I'm not doing anything with them. Ah. I was trying to think ideas, but nothing came to me. I just want to do more of this, to be honest. I just want to do more of this. Oh. Oh, well. I want to spend some of my money is what I want to do. This money's been slowly racking up. Where's Aruka Sensei? I don't know. I mean, he could spawn in this land, but he bloody doesn't. Ugh, whatever. Right, well, we have 225 Jutsu points as well. So what do we want to spend? Like, have we got a thing we want to spend it on? Do we have anything to spend on? That is now an actual question. We've got all the Sharagun stuff. Got all the wind stuff. Um. Yeah. I'm at a loss. Yeah, we've got all the wind jutsus. Now, there is more ice jutsus, but I'm pretty sure Twin Dragon Blizzard is the best one. So, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, what else have we got? The ice prison technique, I don't like that. Ice dome, nothing. This has a defense move. That doesn't matter. Demonic mirroring ice crystals and capsules the opponent in an ice dome. It damages with needles. But, you know, it's 50 chart for 20 damage. I'm never going to want to pay that, am I? Twin dragon blizzard and then ice needles. Yeah. So there, I've still already got the best jutsus from ice. Ice I'm pretty much done with. Now there is boy a scorch release. Oh, God. Oh, I know how much people want me to nuke mountains. But still, it's... Ah... Alright, so shoot three Scorch Balls, the ultimate Scorch release Jutsu, concentrating wind until it explodes, 176 chakra, extreme explosion, plus 16 damage, that's, oh my god, that's a nuke right there. The multi-falling suns, that, is that, is that a nuke as well? I forget. Um, creates four Scorch Balls that go up and generate wind, that might be one, I'm not sure. Um, oh wait, this is one. Sun Heath, Vortex Middle, create two Scorch Balls. With opposite wind propulsion. I don't know what any of that means, to be honest. All I know is that it's going to nuke things, okay? We could unlock Scorch Release. That's a possibility. There's lightning. God. Um, 
In lightning mode? Good. Kieran I don't so much care for. Shidori Senba I don't care about. Lightning Ball I don't care about. Shidori Nagashi is good, but that's not in this. No, wait, no. Shidori Sharp Spear is good. Actually, Nagashi is not bad either. But yeah, no, that's not in this. Um, Yeah. Fight Force is matter. Larry I like, but... If I had a chance between using my Sharing Gun or the Larry, I'm going to use my Sharing Gun. Let's be honest. In terms of charter cost, it's just better. Uh, I need to win a Ruka Sensei. That's what it comes down to now. I've got the money to buy Jutsus. Got the money to buy Jutsus. There's nothing in Wind that I want. There's nothing in Earth that I want. They both suck. I mean, okay, Earth's got the Golems, but it, people are trying to uh, say that like they're still useful even just, even without like taking away AFK grinding with them. They're still useful, apparently. I don't believe them, but they're saying it. All right, I think unlocking Lightning Mode would be good. I agree to that. She does no shuriken jutsu skill in or anything. That's sad. Bang clone, kage jutsu, sexy technique, molly shadow competition. Yeah, none of those matter. They're all useless too. Um, Because, like, if, as far as clones go, the wood clone's the best one, as far as I know. The bang clone's dumb. Kage kunai technique. <laughs> oh, God. That actually makes sense to me, doesn't it? Because I've got all the shuriken jutsu. Kage kunai technique. Kagebushin Shadow Kunai Jutsu. Chakra cost 26. A Shuriken Jutsu that creates Shadow Clones of a Throne Jutsu. 26 Chakra to create one Shuriken socks. Why is it so much Chakra to create one little thing? Who would want to do that? I don't know. It'd have to be insane. Alright, well, we took out Scorch and Lightning, so I suppose we'll learn some stuff from it. Everyone wants me to nuke things, so I might as well. Ah. Nothing better to spend my points on, I suppose. Until I get other natures, anyway. Like, if I unlock wind... Uh, not wind. If I unlocked uh, uh, wood, I unlock things in that, obviously. Because even though wood doesn't actually do what it's meant to do most of the time, I still have a lot of fun with it, because I abuse it. But anyway, bah, I don't abuse it. I abuse my land with it. <laughs> Which I shouldn't do, but oh well. Oh, What's another good Geki Genkai that I could get? Magnet, obviously. Magnet letting me fly be really good. Right. Let's unlock. Boop. Yeah. Ch uh, lightning mode. Lightning chakra mode. That's worth having. That's good. Same with my wind mode. Static force is. Well, that's pretty useless to be honest. It doesn't cost very much though. Lightning release jutsu so that creates static electricity to paralyze anyone. It's not going to stop anyone though. Like if anyone wants to move forward, they will. So. It won't really do very much, but it's worth having. I guess. I mean, it's, it's not really worth having, actually. Either. It's just, I need to have it anyway, if I want to get lightning. It's worth having so I can get uh, lightning mode. Because lightning mode is good. Right, let's give it a try. Static fossil! Yeah. Paralyze them for a handful of seconds. It's it's something. I'll give you that. It's something. But, eh. Uh, it's not really worth it, is it? No, I wouldn't say so. Blah. Why is half? Half must be it. Oops. Uh, half must be AF King. Like, just waiting for a thing, or he's just, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna be AF King so he can get his thing done at least. Right, okay, let's move away for this next bit because I don't trust using any of these jutsus near where I live. Um, Alright, we're gonna walk really far away. Alright, far, far away will do. Oh, yeah, nice bam. Wait, this is nice bam. You know what? Hero will do actually. <laughs> Here, if I want to nuke sub thing, this is the perfect place. Right, I currently have 213 points. Scorch least 21 is Rising Suns. Let's lock that first. So this is... Create four Scorch Balls that go up and generate winds. Boop. Yeah, I don't quite understand this jutsu either. Rising Suns! Not very useful, are you? Not very useful at all. What the hell? Ugh! Where's it going? That was weird. Right, what's the next jutsu? It is Extreme Sun Murder Thing. Da da da. Not oh, Palo. Hi. The hell? Hit him. Oh, there we go. That did sweet bugger all. Okay. Ah, that's a crap jutsu. Ow. Oh, it's getting me to the good one. Is this the one? Is this the one? The multi sun one. 128 points left. So what's this one called? Multiple falling suns! Hold on, there's a tree there. Let's try it. No! No, it's not. It's just lots of little fireballs. That sucks. Next! Sun, he's Voltix! 
The hell? I seem to recall a bigger one being a thing. Where is, where is that? Where did that come from? That was disappointing. Um, last one. Incinerating flare technique. Is that the jutsu? Like, I'm going through all these looking for this one jutsu that's going to nuke places. I've just used, like, all my jutsu points. <laughs> On a, re a release that I don't care about. Oh, well. All right, big one. Is this the big one? Is this the one that's going to do the thing? That looks like it. Hi! Mate, don't ruin this for me. Oh my god, it's so slow! Or it's lagging. Ah, there we go! Or it's lagging, I was gonna say. Alright, that did something! Costs a lot of chakra, though. <laughs> yeah, you start launching lots of these things around, like. Well, that just sodding mist, didn't it? Hold on. Oh, it's accuracy isn't terrible. Why? Why do you keep going forward? It blew that one away. Oh, yeah. If you create an explosion of wind or whatever, it makes the other ones move around a lot quicker. I forgot about that. Mate, I just want to hit this thing with it. That's all I want. I just want to hit you with it. But it keeps missing. Ah! <laughs> this damn technique. Oh. People wanted nukes. I deliver nukes. Not a huge fan of them. There you go. It's something. Such a bad aim. Like, what is the, the aim of this thing? I mean, okay, once you start launching several of them, they start firing all around the place. Because, the, you know, it's that. But I don't have chakra to do that. I've got a I've got enough chakra to launch five of them. But still. Okay, it did shred this landscape, which is nice. In a sense. <laughs> God. What do we do to this tree? Hold on. Let's practice our new Scorch release, I suppose. The heavens decided we were getting Scorch release, so my god, we're going to use it. We just maxed out Scorch release for some reason. Use like 200 points to master it. Why? Why did it actually was 200 points exactly? Why did I bother? I don't know. Go! Incinerating flare. All right, then. You know, I did wonder what you're gonna do to that tree. The answer is nothing. There we go. Eh, seem bear. <laughs> oh, to be fair, there is probably some kind of logic behind these techniques. I just don't know how it works yet. You probably have to use some of them together, because like it does say, like some of them, like the create wind and stuff like that. Drives out your opponent on hits. Create two scorch balls with opposite wind propulsion. Create nine suns that drop down, causing the area to be set ablaze. With nine suns, really, it doesn't really get set ablaze. Create four suns go up to generate wind, then fly forwards. They're they're weird, those ones. I don't understand these ones. Oh, hello. I can't see. I've also just turned my chakra off. That wasn't very smart. Ooh. I mean, I've seen worse digging tools. That being said, I can't shoot the ball down to go dig down with it. That's one of the annoying bit. I can't shoot it anywhere. I've got to aim, like, wherever I, like, I'm moving, it's going to move forward from there. Oh. Wait, how do these work, though? You got the, these ones, like, they, they go up. So all right. I shoot them. Wait, what if I aim directly at you? Okay, so it does go where I'm aimed. It's just it redirects. But also, it's going to move slightly forward more. Yeah. Okay. It's going to go far ahead, but it's, it is going to, like, head in that direction eventually. I've just got to aim. Excuse me? You want to... Never mind. I have no idea where that was going, to be honest. Yeah, okay, no. I just don't understand these things. Okay, cool. I just have an attack that I just don't understand. <laughs> Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad I didn't get any of our Gen guys to spend my points on, because I'd be sad right now. Oh, I mean, there's not that many I care about, to be fair. There's not that many. The ones I do care about, okay, I'm going to need more points, but I'm going to level up anyway, so I can get points back. Plus, now that I'm over level 500, I get two points per thing anyway, so... I'll get them back. At least I got the power to nuke things. That could be fun. I don't know, if I ever want a building gone... 
Or a big chunk of Lang gone. You know, I've got the means to do that now. That's that's something. Feels like a waste. <laughs> I don't know, just, I, mean, I spent 200 points, I just feel like I've wasted them now. But at the same time, it's like, what are we going to do with them, really? They're just going to sit there, you know. Might as well do something with them. May as well do something with them, eh? Alright, okay, well, wait, hold on. What can we do to this mountain? Hold on. Oh, the bus. Oh, oh this is where the other one went. Um, Alright. You don't have enough chakra. I will see about that game. Incinerating flare technique. Okay. Okay. Why'd they take damage? I didn't launch anything. Alright. Incinerating flare! Ba -ba -da. Off it goes. So wait, does it actually explode in contact or does it just go a certain distance then explode? No matter what. I wonder if there's a way I can speed it up. Like, I wonder if I use a wind release. Oh, no. Okay, that was pretty cool. Okay, I'll give you that one. That was pretty cool. I liked how that, I, I liked how that went. <laughs> oh, I do enjoy blowing a chunk through a mountain. That is quite fun. It's gonna say, like, if I launch a wind jutsu behind it, do I have any wind jutsu on me? Because the rising shirk, oh, that's not gonna help me much. I dub my other wind jutsu on me. I said, if I launch a, if I launch a wind jutsu, wait, what if I did launch a rising shirk behind it though? Can I speed it up using wind? If I could, that'd be quite cool. I don't know if a rising shirk will work, but if I, like, if I launched a wind jutsu behind it, would that change it? Because technically, it requires wind to move or something, or it keeps talking about wind. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, I'm gonna launch. I'll launch another one. Don't know how much chakra this is actually gonna cost. Wait, how much does the Rising Shuriken cost? 86! Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Wee bit more. Wee bit more. Got to 300. I mean, that's more than enough right now, but still. Got to 300. There we go. Alright. It's incinerating flare! Razin! Shuriken! No, it did nothing. <laughs> okay, I need to try another wind technique at some point. See if it does anything. We zoom in. It seems to be after time. It seems to be time base, I think. Hmm. Interesting. So wait, what if I go like right next to the mountain? This is me now experimenting with the best ways to nuke things. Plus, okay, this is th this, if I want to remove a mountain, I would find it really annoying having to physically remove that mountain. Okay. If I can just do this and remove it, that's going to be way more handy. Let's be honest. So, you know, it's, I see some benefit here in some way. I'm trying to find any benefit at this point. <laughs> right. If I go really, really close to this and release it. Incinerating flare. Yeah. Okay. So it's completely time-based. It's not contact-based. It's time-based. Interesting. It's now gone. And now it's exploded, I think. Or has it? What happened? I didn't hear an explosion. Game. Did it explode inside and it just, it muffled the sound of it or what? Like, is there a hole in the other side? <laughs> what happened? Absolutely nothing. What is this? Where's the kaboom? Oh wait, no, wait, there's a hole. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, it exploded inside then. Okay. This it being inside the mountain muffled the sound of the explosion, I guess. <laughs> okay, sure. Ah. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to think. This is probably more effective than the tail beast bomb for destroying mountains as well, though. Okay, man. R one's not going to destroy terrain. It could destroy terrain, but it won't destroy terrain. But it's still, like, this actually blows up a bigger chunk than the tail beast bomb does. I think. Uh, R ones, or does it? <laughs> I think about it. Maybe it doesn't actually. Right, hold on. Let's launch it from here. Boop. I think all my charter for this. Oh, why can't you be contact based? If you're contact based, you might actually be useful. Being time based is kind of awkward. It doesn't just blow up when it hits something. It just decides to randomly blow up after a few seconds pass. All right, well, it did the thing. So have we look at the results. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah. Yeah. It's about what I expected. Okay, cool. Is there no way I can launch it downwards or something? Like, can I not change the direction? Is that going to go forwards? Ah, uh, no! Oh, yeah, I'm climbing around. But. Eh. Ah, uh, this. 
the jutsu climbing thing is quite annoying sometimes because it lets you cling to everything and sometimes you just don't want to go a certain direction but right can i like make it can i make it go down is the real question i don't think i can i think it's got to go forward which is annoying like because if i could aim it straight down that might actually be useful because then i could like you know nuke downwards but uh, i don't think that's the case yeah it's not wait what where'd it go Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's just lagging. Oh, wait, no! Ooh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! It didn't move there. That wasn't lag. Because I was looking down, it didn't move forward very quickly. Wait, so the speed I release it at, does that change things? This is all about wind and momentum and stuff, so I don't know. If I run with it and release it, will it move faster? I do enjoy experimenting with new jutsus. To be fair, Zaro had an absolute field day with this jutsu. Back when we, uh, both of us played. Oh. Up, hello. We found a new target. Oh, lovely jubbly. That'll, that'll burn. That'll burn. It'll break down nicely. It's not going to burn. <laughs> well, I'm going to burn it with Scorched Tail. You'd think so, but nope. Right, okay. So if I run with it. If I run with it. If I run with it. And then I release it. Yeah, it's going quicker. That's actually going a bit quicker. Ooh. I think it is anyway. Could be wrong. How many seconds passed there? It's like, what, 10 seconds? After, like, 10 seconds it blows up? Or something? Hmm. Okay, so I can't make it go down. But I can... If I look directly down with it, though, it won't move from the spot. It will blow up wherever I am. It'll be above me, but it'll blow up wherever I am. Just, it won't go down very far. But it, will, it, it can kind of go down. Interesting. Ooh. Well, at least I've managed to have some fun with this extremely pricey jutsu. This is easily my most draining jutsu. 176 chakra for this, Jesus. The Rising Shur can only cost 86. And this is one of my most devastating. The Twin Blizzard Dragon costs 60. The Shackling Chains costs, you know, 30. The only thing's more expensive than this is this is a Kiyomi. Oh my god. Alright, one last, one last wee thing then. If I shoot directly down here, but... Has it done the thing? It has, yeah, it stays still. Ooh. We can nuke a spot. We can essentially just leave it out. You just have to look down and use it. It's not the greatest, but, you know... If someone was chasing us, <laughs> by chance, you know, if I if I time it right, I'd have to time it really right, but like, if I timed it right, I could leave something like that in their way and explode. Wouldn't do very much to them, but you know. Yeah, it's damage is pretty pitiful again, as well. Like, extreme explosion, but 16 damage. Ah. 16 damage, that's not good <laughs> at all. That kind of sucks, to be honest. Oh. I was just thinking, what if I use a golem? Can I see how much damage it does to a golem? Well, I could. Technically, yes, I could. But uh, let's hold on. Let's 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 put that away for a second. All right. Okay. Let's quickly use. Let's jump home. Let's try a golem out. Ow. Let's try a golem out. So we've got boop paper. We've got boop ink. And we've got a pumpkin. I'm hoping it does more than 16. Like the explosion, like it's just 16 damage if it hits, but the, the damage, like the explosion does more. Because like it says like my Sharanga move is going to do like a tiny amount. I mean, okay, this is also meant to be widespread and hit like multiple people, but still, this is, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. In terms of damage, ah. Uh, it's not very good at all. Alright, let's make a golem. Boop. 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 There we go. And then, break all this. Boop. There we go. Just charging while I do it. Do, 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 do. One bit there. One bit there. Eh. 
There we are. All right, Mr. Golem. Uh, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you son of a bitch. You need to beat the ep epicenter of the explosion. Um, hold on. Oh, now you stop. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in there, Dolpy. In you go. In you go. In you go. There we are. Right, okay, let's... You what? Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Bah. Are you too big for the hole? Are you not a two by two thing? You are fighting that really hard, mate. Like, you're in now. You are fighting that really hard. A good fight. And now you get to taste my jutsu. Incinerating flare! Crap, I looked in a direction! Well, I didn't look at the village, so I mean, you know, that's something at least. Are you going to take damage from this? Is this going to hit you? No, I think it's far enough away. The chickens are all going to die, though. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, I didn't really do anything. Again, you took three damage from that from the aftershock. Urgh. Right, okay, look down this time. Jesus. It's not wasting chakra. There we go. Incinerating flare. Ooh. Oh, that did 60 damage right on the spot there to him. Okay. Any day now, game? There we are. <laughs> eh. It went down to 90. Was it 117? And I think part of that was the fire damage. That is a really weak jutsu. Oh my god. Like, it destroys things, but it doesn't do very much damage. On top of that, against an armored opponent, that would probably do nothing. Pitiful! Ugh. That's another thing with Matheox stuff. Like, he, make, he makes this stuff cost so much, but it does nothing in terms of damage. So it's like, why would anyone want to use that? Like, okay, it's big and flashy. But it's like, what use is it actually when you're going to give, like, low-costing jutsus much better power? Ah, oh, it makes no sense. But right, anyway, 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 we've had our fun. People were asking for Scorch release. There you go. We've got it. We can now blow things up. I still don't know how the rest of the jutsus really work or how to aim them and stuff, but at least we've got the big one kind of working, so that's... That's something. We can now nuke landscapes. Lovely. Uh, I, I don't know where that's ever going to be useful, but we've got it, okay? <laughs> we've got it. Right. Anyway, people, that's enough for today then. So the Jinchiniki timer has begun. We wasted all our DNA. We didn't waste it. We had ID'd all our DNA. That was, it was all crap. Yay. We got water release. We unlocked our Scorch release stuff. Cool. Come the weekend, we might decide to do a wee tournament -y thing. I don't know exactly what format we're going to do with tournaments. Of, well, like, we'll figure something out as the time comes. I also don't know what the reward's going to be yet. Again, I'll figure something out. But right. Anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you want to have a chance to get on the server, leave a like on the video along with your in-game name down below for a chance to get on for every 100 likes other person onto the server, which, by the way, you get, as far as, like, likes and stuff and like goals and stuff, you guys have been smashing it. The entire series. We're 19 episodes deep. Or, yeah, this is 20 episodes deep. And, like, every single episode has had insane support. So, thank you all very much for that. It's been absolutely lovely. But, right, other than that, though, if you want to skip the, the light goal part and, you know, just get onto the server, you become a member of the channel. All channel members are allowed on any of my servers. So, yeah, if you want to do that, you can click the lovely join button. If you can't see the join button, there's a link in the description. You become a member, then let us know your in-game name, and I can let you on. And I can now tell who members are, which is... Bloody fantastic. I love the fact that feature is finally in my possession. But right, anyway though, thank you all for watching. See you all next time for some more Naruto World Mod Pack. Go buy it from Buddy.